the gale storm, the dangerous, the wato charge. Their strengths are very well known. Oh goodness, some muscle, some power. But sometimes it's not just about that. There's more to power hitting than just muscling the ball. For a little man, he packs a punch. There's a science to it. Ready to find out? Apart from hitting the sweet spot and timing the shot perfectly, the bat swing is also crucial. Let's start with looking at a power hit in motion. From the back lift, the getting ready phase, to the downswing, the executing the shot phase. Within this motion exist two pendulums. One, the arms swinging across the shoulders, and the other, the bat with the wrists as the pivot. As the batter gears up for the shot with the back lift, the muscles and bat gain potential energy. Just like a simple pendulum being pulled back and stopped, now with the downswing, the batter converts this stored energy to kinetic energy. But this happens in two parts. Initially, the arm swing predominantly converts the energy. As the shot carries on, the arms hand over its kinetic energy to the back swing, which is now at full throttle. When this swing follows a double pendulum pattern, wherein we see much more active motion in the bottom pendulum, we get a higher energy transfer from muscle to bat and bat to ball, extracting the most out of a shot. And you can observe a similar double pendulum pattern even in gymnasts performing exceptional acts. And that's how this double pendulum pattern with optimal energy conversions makes back swings a lot more effective and out of the park sixes a lot more apparent. Know the player who holds the record for the longest six in cricket history? Comment below and stay tuned to Wicket to Wicket.